Welcome, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> so we are happy to have you today. Uh, my name is Anthony Diaz, and this is my beautiful and beautiful sister, <laughs> Katiuska. Hi. Um, we are siblings in tech. Uh, I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Okay. So as you know, my name is Katiuska. I'm 13 years old, soon 14. <laughs> um, I study in uh, the School of International in Laval. I've participated in Technovation, I've done Contecno, and I've been programming with my brother since I was very little. So yeah, today we wanted to share with you guys a little project that I learned with him during quarantine because we have, in, have been doing a lot of programming, learning math, since he's the expert, okay? <laughs> so yeah, today we're going to show you something very fun. It's basically, um, you're going to teach your machine how to recognize different movements. In this case, we're going to do dance movements because I'm also a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> I do dance competitions. And so I, I thought it would be really fun if we can combine dance and machine learning, if we say that like that. Yeah. Together. <laughs> In my case, uh, my name is Anthony Diaz. Uh, I am from Colombia and we live in Canada. Um, I am now a gold Microsoft student partner. Uh, I have been working with technology since I have been very young. I am very interested in machine learning, uh, data science. Um, today we are going to show you a simple way that you can uh, teach your machine uh, to do cool stuff without a zero line of coding. This session will be, will be in English, as you can see. Yeah. Pero ustedes también nos pueden escribir en español. Vous pouvez nous écrire en français aussi. Ouais. Uh, so don't be shy. That would be good. So exactly. for a starter, I would like to see you do some dance move. <laughs> and I will uh, prepare the session. OK, so you're going to put some music, or what are you going to do? <laughs> You can um, show I, us how you... I'm, I'm going to stretch a little bit because I do not want to pull a hamstring while doing it. Okay, that's good, Kathy. Okay. Yay. So now we are going to show you our screen. Uh, and this is the website. Uh, we will be putting that in the comments. So you can go there right now. You can do it, Kathy. Teach them. Is it like this? Yeah. Dot. Hi, Grace. Uh, do you hear us right now? It's better. Ooh. Can you hear us? Um, can we make sure everyone is hearing us right now? It would be very cool. So this is the website that you need to go right now. And we are going to start programming from there. So let us know in the comments if you are already in the website. And we are going to start. And if you have any questions, um, be sure to ask them. Uh, as we told you, you can ask them in French, in Spanish, or in English. Okay, cool. So for those who already are there, uh, we are going to show you a little bit what is Tissue Machine. Okay, so you can explain it to them. Tissue Machine is a website uh, created by Google where you can train a computer to recognize your own image, pose, or sound. It's very easy to use. 
And today uh, is divided in three steps, in gather, in train, and export your project. So gathering is basically taking different pictures of yourself and your body or different samples of depending what you want to do if you want to do a sound or images to train the computer then when you push the train button it's just the computer is going to recollect all the images and help them starting to recognize every single one of them and then you can test uh, what you did it's very easy so today yeah as you can see there are three types of projects image audio and pause project what we are going to do right now is to start by the pause project to show you the dance movement, okay? Let's hide this, let's start. Pause, pause, pause. Well, As you can see, you have different classes. We're gonna name each one uh, depending on the movement you want to do. How many movements are we going to do today? Let's do... It depends on you. Um, let's do four. Four movement. Or more. Oh, that's good. I think four is good. That's again. So can you tell us what is the name of the movement? Okay, so the first one is going to be uh You can write it down. Aye, aye. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's gonna be a grand battement. Okay. It's it's in French. I think that's the name. A grand battement and I'm gonna hold it. The second, second one. It's a needle. I think that's the only one that I know the English name. <laughs> um, it's your one. Let's do something different. Let's do simple split. Simple split, <laughs> not simple. Just for her. Okay, and um, let's also show them all oh, the handstand. The handstand. The handstand how, with your how head. How do you say handstand in Spanish? Um, Parada de mano. Parada de mano. <laughs> Okay, let's do that. Handstand with head. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That's <laughs> good. So as you can see, we named the classes. And now we need to uh, add the pose sample. It means we can take pictures or we can upload pictures that we already have in our computer. Yes. So if you can do it with us, it will be great. Uh, what, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to show you the other camp. So like that you can follow Katy movement. And at the same time, you can also try with other movements. If you have other ideas, you can also comment it and yeah. So be great. So as you can see, we have two cameras here prepared for you. Hello. <laughs> okay, so you can show it. Perfect. And you're gonna take the pictures with the other one? Yes. So, so let's put it down. So you guys can see me. Also, you're gonna share your screen. Yes. Uh, oof. Oof, la la. <laughs> okay. So what I am going to do right now is to take the samples. Yes. And you can let us know if you can watch Katy completely. Can you see me do the snowman? <laughs> okay, so before we do the four samples, Kathy, can you show us what is the grand battement? Okay, grand battement, this one, normally a grand battement is, I'm sorry, it's like this. Okay. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to lift the leg and take it up and just stay there. That's Ooh. a grand battement. <laughs> can you do that? Uh, no, you Please let us know. Yeah. <laughs> For the second movement, it's a needle. Um, uh, please, no, you don't need a, a special camera for that. You can use the camera yeah. of your computer. Yeah. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Okay, then the needle, which is basically a combat mom, but from behind, like this. Then we're going to do the split. Very easy, like this. Just yeah, that's what I do. Like this. <laughs> and finally, we're going to do the handstand with your head that I'm going to show it after, okay? Are you ready to do that? Yes. Okay. Try out. Oh, now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, la la. Okay. Um. Are you ready, guys? Let's see that. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> so perfect. So right now let's take the sunburn. Um, you should be in me. Is it good, Nene? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear us, guy? Okay. For purposes of uh, being a little bit less mushy in my head, I'm going to put a little tissue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So me if you can see me, huh? Uh, one, two. Oh, oh, I don't think it recognizes you. Wait, wait a second. Oh, can't you do it? Facing sideways? Yeah, we're there. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Okay. Also, let us know if you have any recommendation that we can do. Uh, we can also do like jazz movements. Um, yoga movements. Anthony yoga is gonna movements. show you. Anthony is gonna show us at the end the special movements that he has been learning. So y'all stay ready for that. It's gonna be amazing. Uh oh. I'm very proud of him. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay. You tell me. There's a minute. 
You tell me when you are ready. One, two, three. That's good. Okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so now that we have the samples. Yay! What we are going to do. So let's go. Let's go back to the screen. Yes. So now that we have the, sa the samples, what we are going to do is to train the model. And to train the model is very easy. You just need to click here in the train model and wait so the gathering of picture that you take will be uploaded. OK? So let's wait a little bit. In the meantime, do you have any question or any? What intent step recognition can be used for? What do you think in, in your case with the academy? Um, well, maybe for more professional dancers, it can be used to correct. For them at home, they can use that. Can also be used not only for dancing, but for other things such as. But in this case, uh, dance step recognition could be very good to recognize your posture and yeah. to see if you are doing a great position. Yes. Cat is a baguette dancer, so maybe uh, if we wait that that charge, you can show us some baguette movement. Um, ballet is very, uh, yeah, I can show you guys. What can I show you guys? <laughs> OK, so we'll... So that's going to take a little bit of time of charging because we took a lot of pictures. What can you, what do you want me to do? Well, in ballet, we have the different positions. Oh, yes. Let them show us. Yes. Come on, Anthony. You learn the positions. Anthony learned different uh, dance positions. Come on, Anthony. It's not my time, it's her time. <laughs> okay, well in dance, you have the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. So it can be used also to correct posture. If you really train well your computer for posture, let's say if you do pirouettes, if you landed well, if your knee was bent while you were doing a pirouette. And yeah, it can be used for different things in dancing, for technique, everything. <laughs> so yeah, so let's see how it's charging. <laughs> That's great, it's more than half. So guys, do you have any question or any suggestion? Uh, we were thinking to show you uh, a useful project uh, of mass detection. Yes. So maybe you can train it to, to use it in your hometown uh, to recognize who use a mask and who is not using it. Yeah. Uh, if you like that, please tell us in the comment, yes, and we are going to do it. Yeah, we can do it right now. And also, if you have any other uh, type of questions on, or ideas that we can do here, you can also tell us in the comments. Oh, she loved that hip hop. Yes. So are you? I, I, I dance hip hop uh, in competitions. Well, last year, this year, I did a, a solo, so I didn't do it. But hip hop is very fun. It's more, it has less technique. What is it? Okay. It has less technique, let's say. It's more like bouncy and it's trash and everything. I like, I like hip hop. It's completely different than ballet. That's the thing. <laughs> okay, so there is like one minute left uh, that we are going to wait for the system to train and show you an example. And in the meantime, I'm going to search for the face mask. So we are going to show you a little bonus of another project that you can use uh, and you can do with teacher or machine, okay? Perfect. Do you have a book? Add to us, okay. So Kat is going. In the meantime, can you tell us uh, where are you from?
So what is going to happen here in the system, I'm going to explain a little bit in the meantime, is you will have a preview. In this preview, you will have more details about the accuracy of your, of your project, uh, of the sample that you have. That's very great. If you go here, You can check the accuracy of each movement and that can show you, okay, uh, it show you also the vocabulary. Uh, it show you what is accuracy so you can know how useful it, be, it will be. Um, here in the preview part, you can see that we can add an input that will be a camera, but also an input can be a file it means if you have a picture and you want to tell a, uh, and you want to establish if that picture is oh you want to tell if that picture is one of these four movements you can use this system to verify if not what we are going to do with Katy is to show you with the camera Katy will do one of those movements um in the output it will show you the degree of certainty that the system have the more you train the more you the more samples you add to the system the better it will be to recognize so got it. Mask. that's great so we have the mask for the project yeah in a second it has this oh so it charged we're going to do yeah it charged Oh, so, hello, people from Mexico. <laughs> so now, Katy, it's your turn. And you are going to show us the accuracy of the program, OK? Um, OK, perfect. Dun, 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 dun. On. Did you explain to them what, uh, what everything does? Yes. OK, right now, it's just showing because I'm not doing anything. OK, so I'm going to do the first one, which was this one. What? You can see it's a grad button. It was there. If I do like this. Wait, is it is it buggy? It looks like it was buggy. The box like Oh. Oh yeah. You can see that's the second movement and it shows us that yeah, it's a hundred percent of certainty. Okay. Let's do the handstand to change it a little bit. Okay. Let's see, we had a little of problem with that. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. As you can see, it's a hundred percent certainty. That's great. Yay. Okay, yeah, the splits, which is the last one. Yes. We had to do it in different positions. Okay, we have to show it a little bit now. Okay. So we Let's it. see if that worked. Yeah, so the system recognize the speed that you did. Yeah, um, I really like um, because the needle and the combat mall are very similar. Well, for a computer, I would say mm -hmm. because it's both both of them legs are up. One is just a little on the side, and the other one is in the back. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, let's go back. As you can see, that's something that we can do in what? 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and it's very easy to do. So it's something that we want you to try in home and you can do it with other samples. Uh, let us know which sample do you want to test in the comments, please. Yeah. And also there are, there is a last thing that we want to show you with that is that you can export your model. And that's amazing because maybe you don't want or you don't know how to program as well, but you want to share that project with your friends. So what you can do is to upload your travel link. And you do upload my model. It will give you a website link that we are going to put here in the comments and you can try home. Yeah. 
Oh, and also, I want to see you guys if you if you tried the movements. I want to see you guys doing it. Perfect. So, if you go to that link that we put in the comment session, you can go and try the model that we just did together. Yeah. Okay. The and also, you can download. If you want to download the code. You can put it in GitHub, or you can copy and put it in Virtual uh, Studio, Visual Studio. Virtual, <laughs> Visual Studio Code. Exactly. And it's very it's very easy to digest. So you don't need to code, and it will do it for you. OK. Are we going to do the, uh, so, the extra project of the mask? Yeah, so do you want to watch the? Face mask, face mask project. Yeah. Um, where did you put the face mask? Face mask. <laughs> if you want to see it, please comment it, and we're gonna do it for you. It's very fun, very cool project that we can use for different things. Can we create a recognition model from scratch or just dance? You can do it for a scratch too. Yeah. Um, show you. What this are you doing? Thing. Yeah, you can do it for different things. It's not, it's not only dancing. You can do poses. Um, if you do workouts, it can also work. You can do it for a bunch of things. Oh, there's that face. I didn't know there was that emoji. <laughs> Guys, we learn new things every day. <laughs> So now for the face mask uh, recognition, what we are going to use is not the pose, but the image project, because we are going to teach the system based on different image. And the two classes that we are going to use are face, uh, face mask on and face mask off. So with mask <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and without mask. No mask. No mask. <laughs> um, again, we are going to do the same. Uh, let's show here. So do you want to? We're going to do the same. Okay. Kat is going to take the mask. OK, with mask. You're going to take the pictures? Yes. I have curly hair. And it's still wet, so it's not that bad. But if I had like the hair, it would be dry. I couldn't put this face mask on. I could never. <laughs> Okay, like this. No, no, no. I don't know. Let's do um different poses. Yeah, so you need to do different poses. Okay, like let's take different picture. Smile. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> okay, like this, like this, like this. Approach. Like this. Like this, like this, like this. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now you can try it. I want to. And now the without mask. And after okay. I'm going to do it too. Okay. So smile. Now we can see you. The same one. Perfect. Okay. Do you want to do it also so I can work on you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So you do webcam. This, as you can see, Yes. 
could you guys hear us um or like the mic was muted the whole time hmm. that's the question okay. so yeah so we are we are doing the same um we are we are training the model and as we wait oh no, no what happened oh it's having to be oops yes just wait a little bit it's so the system oh work. yeah we realized a little bit late that the audio was gone <laughs> i'm sorry uh we just said we just said that we were taking different samples from anthony with the mask and me with the mask and then anthony without the mask and me also without the mask yeah <laughs> thank you Anessa. so yeah so let's just wait and in the meantime can you comment which idea do you have in mind right now knowing the knowing what we just show you that you can do with tissue machine Kathy, can you share some comments there too? Um, okay, don't worry. Okay, um, what can we show? Here we are going to comment some suggestions that you can try home. Yeah. For example, voice recognition. Um, I can do a yoga. Or you can also do it with people if you want to. Like you take photos of me, then photos of Anthony, and if you have other people, you can also do it. And it would you would train the model; it would recognize different per person. Yeah, family recognition because we're in quarantine, people. We have to stay safe, stay stay at home as much as we can. And if we go out, please wear your mask. If you touch things, wear your gloves. Before you touch your face, take out your gloves. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> please stay safe. So here we are. Yay, the model is trained. Mira que no mute. The model is trained. Is it mute? Is it mute or you can hear us? <laughs> okay. Um I'm going to put this on. Wait, just a second. Uh, uh Nene, you're showing that other thing. Nene. Yeah, just a second. Pudum pudum. Hello. So as you can see, the model recognizes she has Max. Wait, uh, let me put it. Yeah. Let if I go out. like this, I have a mask. If I go like this, <laughs> if I go like this, hello, <laughs> I have a mask on. Okay, now I'm going to take it off. Okay. Wait, let me show you. Wait, right here. It doesn't recognize your face. <laughs> I have a face. Look, I have a nose. Okay. Yeah, it recognizes my face. As you can see, we can train a lot, a little bit more the model without the mask on because we had 132 pictures with the mask. You can yeah. see this can be very useful for a lot Let's of try things. Try Anthony. Both to see if the system recognize. Yeah. Uh, let's try with that. What you can do is to try different masks so the system can adapt uh, and can recognize that when your uh, mouse and your nose disappear, yeah, it means that you have a mask. Yeah. Okay, so it's 100% move around, do a little dance move, a little twirl for us, <laughs> a little spin, a <laughs> spin. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it seems that it worked. Without a mask on? So thank you very much, guys. Uh, let's stay. Oh yeah, look, taco recognition. Oh, that very is. good idea. Tacos are really good. Yes. <laughs> Could recognize a student from each school. Yeah. Yeah, that would be very useful, like, for our school. <laughs> yeah, to take a uh, presence in the class, it would be very great. <laughs> Un champetica. <laughs> So, Kathy, can you dance? <laughs> so, thank you very much to be with us today. Muchas gracias a todos por haber participado hoy. 
Merci à tous pour avoir participé. C'était une expérience incroyable. So it was an amazing experience talking with you guys. Thank you for all the people that commented and were active during when we were doing the projects. It was very fun. Very much appreciated. I had a really good time. Y como dijo Ray, eh, la idea es mostrarle proyectos que sean muy sencillos de hacer, eh, que no tengan ni siquiera experiencia en programación, pueden hacerlo en cuestión de minutos. Uh, en las próximas semanas, eh, bueno, este viernes vamos a hacer una segun, un segundo video usando Spark AR. Spark yeah. AR es el programa con el que ustedes pueden hacer filtros de Instagram. Entonces, eh, Okay, so basically what Anthony said is that we are very much like happy to be with you guys today. Um, as you can see, what we did today, it didn't need experience like of coding very much. It's all there and it's very easy to do. And this, we're going to be doing different projects during different weeks. And also today, oh la la, what happened there? <laughs> and also this week, it's on Friday. Yeah, we're going to learn how to do Instagram filters with Spark AI. Instagram filter with Spark AI. So if you are interested. So thank you very much for being here. <laughs> and we are sorry for the delay. Yeah. Um, we yeah. hope to watch to see you here uh, this Friday. Yeah, we're at the do same the, time. Yeah, same time at two o'clock on Friday, and we're gonna do Instagram filters. Thank you very much. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs>